welcome to my slice of paradise. This is Beliran Island and we are currently in Naval, which is the capital and my hometown. Old name of Biliran was Panamao. Panamao. And uh, Panamao is a heavy duty net that can be used to capture large species of fish, including sea cows. And then, uh, uh, sometime after around 1668, this mountain, Mount Panamao, erupted. And so, 1982, uh, there was a build okay, on that of Libby site. And so, Robinson won. Uh, so we became a province in uh, May, May 11, 19, uh, 1992. Almost 30 years now. 30 years, yep. Almost 30, 30 years. years. Yeah. In 1992, it started out as 16th among the poorest provinces in wow. the country. The whole country, wow. Oh, 16th. Bottom. But it is now number 16 from the top. Least That's poor, incredible. Least poor provinces. It's the better economic, economic statistics wise, it's better situated province in the region. So for instance, Biliran is number 16. And uh, next is Southern Leyte is number 42 mm -hmm. from the top. And Leyte is number 53. And some are provinces are in the top 10 poorest provinces. Wow. So in this region, Biliran is number yeah. Wow. That's, that's a impressive company, the top 16 in the whole country. And the, that quickly of a change too, that's yeah. impressive. The farthest village here is already accessible by road. I mean, it's a beautiful province too, just from being here for a while. Like, you have yes. the coast, you have the mountains, it's yeah, so green, yeah. it's lush. That being said, I am super excited to show you all this part where I grew up. So we're here at the port of Naval. We're right by the waterfront. There's a cool little promenade here. Everyone's chilling in the evening. I want to take you to a real local hangout spot where everyone comes to eat in the evenings. I can already smell it from here. Excited, hungry, let's go. First order of business, we have chicken wings, chicken liver, chicken thighs, and chicken breast. We're actually gonna have it and pair it with. So, which is in translation, hanging rice. What I love is that all these stalls here, you pick out the meat right there raw and then they cook it for you up in the back, they grill it and they brush some sauce on it and when they're done, this one's chicken breast. Mm. Nice and juicy, slightly sweet, slightly tangy sauce. Not too much char on the outside, which is perfect, so it doesn't have too much of that burnt taste. It's delicious. Doing 
almost like a little mini crawl here. We just had snacks. There's about, say, six or seven different barbecue stalls on the strip. It's a real nighttime spot. It really comes alive here at the nighttime. I love it. Every stall has different offerings, too. This one actually has seafood. We're excited for that. Thought about surf and turf. So we're gonna have this squid. Ooh, Whoa, look at, look at that. Mega size. And some bangos. some liver, all the good stuff in here. Surfing and surfing. <laughs> this whole grill square looks incredible. So there's little cuts in here. You have the tentacles and inside, if you cut it open, it's little green leaves. That looks like leek or scallion in here. It's very interesting. Mmm. That squid is cooked perfectly. It's tender, doesn't have that overly chewiness, and I like that little bit of flavor from the leek in here. And what's interesting about the skewers here, they actually brush them with banana ketchup at the end before they serve it to you. No better pairing of barbecue than beer. We got Samig. Can't beat the ambience and vibe here. Love it. When you're in Naval, you gotta come to the barbecue stalls on the river. Time to enjoy our meal and good company. So, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.